Hey everybody, Carl here. Welcome back to Trails in the Sky, second chapter, where we are here with Estelle at the lodge at Lilacal. We are training to become strong and independent so that we can beat Ouroboros and get Joshua back. But before that, we must finish our training, and that involves going to bed. But before we go to bed, let's talk around the place, see how Phyllis and Robert are doing. Apparently you, Robert, you got something for me? Hey, Estelle, is that a Heaven's Eye Quartz you have there? Well, I'll be damned. That's some pretty high-grade quartz. You'll need to upgrade a Norman slot in order to set one of those. It requires a fair bit of sepith, but it'll also increase your Orbman's EP charge capacity, so you should give it a try. If you select slots from upgrade slash exchange, you can upgrade your slots. Really? That's huge. Let's check it out. So upgrading a slot doesn't cost too much as we can see here, but the further down one of the lines we go, the more expensive they get. So I could, for instance, upgrade my first one right here, which I would like to do. Thank you very much. And then he sells EP Cut 1, which we now can get, which we were not able to get the other time. So I'm just going to synthesize myself one of those. Only feels right. We'd probably want some more of these other ones too. So I'm just going to synthesize a few more quartz here. Since, you know, it's better to have quartz than not have quartz. <laughs> Sounds like a dull thing, but start of the game, you're not guaranteed to have quartz, you know? All right, Estelle. You got luck here in the middle. That's... that's great. But you could also have Heaven's Eye. Combines the effects of Eagle Eye and Information, and I love Eagle Eye. And Information's pretty good too, so we know the enemy stats straight off the bat. Now, I would still like luck somewhere, but that would mean replacing something. What would I want replaced, though? That's the thing. Maybe HP1 could get replaced for luck? Yeah, I think that's... We get dark matter? Dude, that's so cool. Alright. Let's do that, then. Wonderful. And... Yeah, anything else, Robert? You can't set a high-grade quartz without an upgraded slot. You'd damage the orbment if you tried. You'll need Sepith to upgrade your slots, but a nice bonus is that the upgrade increases your max EP capacity too. Ah yeah, look at our health and EP though, we need a bit of a rest. You got, you got some snacks, Phyllis? Estelle, good job with your training. From the look on your face, Kurt worked you raw, didn't he? <sighs> yeah, I'm exhausted. But hey, it's part of our training, so I just gotta buckle down and do it. That's the spirit. Well then, You'd best get supplies ready for tomorrow. Who knows what else Kurt has planned. Better get ready now. <laughs> yeah, good idea. I'll be back to look over stuff then. Now, we did go to St. Croix Forest, but that was kind of off cam, so we still haven't gotten to explore that properly, which I hope we're going to be able to do tomorrow. Liberal news, though. For sure. We do want to make sure we uh, read up on the liberal news, but mm, maybe let's do it now. Let's start with some reading. Let's sit down on a chair, have a cup of tea, read the newspaper. I guess that's... That's 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 what we're doing. I've decided. If you don't like it, uh, use timestamps down below to skip. Special. Rebuilding the army. Two months since the coup d'etat. It's been two months since the stunning fall of the Royal Army's once promising intelligence division and their failed coup d'etat. Currently, in response to their failure to prevent the rebellion by one of their own divisions, the army is undergoing a major reconstruction of their internal organization. To find how they intend to regain the trust of the public, we got a behind-the-scenes look at their reconstruction efforts. Reconstruction Challenges Under the command of General Morgan, the reformation of all Royal Army units has been proceeding swiftly. However, even our decorated general acknowledges that rebuilding the chain of command will take some time. The cause, we're told from an army source, is that the ID unit's reach had permeated all levels of command, and removing that influence has proved to be quite the task. The Road to Rebuilding the Royal Army The Royal Army is determined to continue reforming whatever difficulties may arise. One such issue they face is lack of transparency. For national defense reasons, the organization of the military has been heavily guarded, but it was this very policy that allowed the ID unit to get as far as they did. One effort to blow fresh air into the rigid army structure 
is the recent cooperation with the Bracer Guild. How much further the Royal Army can open up and still maintain the secrecy needed for security though, is probably the biggest hurdle facing the rebuilding of the army. Foreign Affairs The Queen's Priest Proposal According to reports from the Foreign Affairs section, the Erebonian Empire, Calvert Republic and Liberal Kingdom have all agreed to enter into a treaty of non-aggression. Preparations are already underway to host the signing of the pact following the Royal Parliament's approval of the terms proposed by Queen Alicia. Will this pact be the guiding light to peace between the nations? General Morgan to resign? A change at the top of the army ranks seems in the air as Chief of Staff General Morgan indicated in a recent meeting that he would yield the reconstruction of the army to someone else. Signs also suggested that he will resign from the top post entirely once the army reorganization is complete. Eyes are on Cassius Bright, the general's right-hand man, to take up the reins. We will be keeping close tabs on any further developments. Ah yeah, you go dad. You show him. You rebuild that army real well. Can we go outside? <gasps> oh, why didn't I end the episode out here under the beautiful moonlight? You know what? I'm getting Joshua back. I've never felt so determined in my life. This is Estelle growing up. The training wheels are off now. It's us on our own figuring stuff out. Bracer Guild, the local training grounds. Perfect. That's where we are. Let's go to bed. It's been a long day. Kurt knows how to work it to the bone. Let's see. This is still locked. We'll come back later. This should be empty. Let's go to Annalise. Hey. Oh, Estelle. Not in bed yet, huh? Still getting ready for tomorrow? <laughs> well, yeah, that too, but what are you up to, Annalise? I was just talking with Mr. Bear. Mr. Bear? Isn't he cute? That soft, plushy fur. Oh, just touching it makes me tingly. Uh, <laughs> so, this is where you get your energy from, huh, Annalise? Heck yeah, it is. All right. Oh, just touching stuffed animals makes me feel like a million mirror. <laughs> yeah, like I said, cuteness is justice, and justice is power. Or something. Ah, yeah. Cuteness is justice indeed. I agree. Sup, Kurtz? Estelle, good evening. Hi, Kurtz. You reading something? Yes, I'm looking over some military treatise from the Far East. The subject is ancient warfare, but you would be surprised how much of it applies to conflict of any era. You should give them a read yourself. You may find them enlightening. Uh, <laughs> I think I'll pass. I kind of suspect they'd go over my head. Far East military books, though. Kurt, I've been sort of curious. Are you from the East yourself? In a sense, I suppose. I was born in Liberal, but my family does indeed hail from the lands beyond Calvert. We emigrated during the time of my grandfather, from what I understand. The special arts I use are something that my grandfather passed down to me, in fact. Oh, I see. I always thought that what you do is pretty incredible and handy, but I've never seen anyone else do stuff like it. A fair observation. I know no other practitioners of the art aside from myself. If you're that interested, however, I'll be honored to teach it to you, Estelle. Whoa, really? <laughs> really? It would be my pleasure. However, you will need to study a number of military treatises first. Ugh. I think I'm gonna have to pass. What? You don't want to learn to become hard as steel just because you don't want to read a military treatise? We can learn much from the writings of past ages. I do think you should try reading them at some point rather than avoiding them so. Being a bracer is more than just having combat skills. They must strive to train their minds as well. Remember that. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just gonna go buy new sneakers. That's kind of where Estelle's mental state is at. But yeah, there's a lot of wisdom in past writings. And it's interesting how thousands of years ago, you know, people grapple with the same things. And they have some really valuable insights to how we live today. But for now, stay up. It's freaking slumber time. Let's go. Uh -uh. So tired. Time to hit the hay and get ready for tomorrow. Ah, uh, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. 
excuse me? Um, hmm? Did I hear something? <laughs> this is so Estelle, though. Don't care. Slumber. Uh, we're going to be faced with a series of choices, and the choices we make are going to be the correct BP choices to get the maximum bracer rank. So we're going to wake up. Hmm. What is that sound? W wait a minute. Is that gunfire? Estelle! Estelle, are you awake? Analyze? Estelle, you're awake. Oh, thank Adios. Come on, grab your gear. Uh, right. Hey, is that really gunfire or... Yeah, we're under attack by... somebody. I don't know who. Kurt's trying to fight them off, but we need to go help him. Oh boy. Let's go. I should hold them off for a moment. Uh, are you all right? He's not. Kurt, your arm. It's nothing. Just a scratch. It's far more important that we put an end to this intrusion. Kurt? Kurt, are you okay? You're injured. Estelle, Annalise. Forgive me. I left my guard down. As you can see, the lodge is under attack by a group of armed men. I need your help in driving them away. Uh, Roger! But, but, they hurt you, Kurt? Who the heck are these guys? I'm not yet entirely certain. I got a fairly good look at their gear when fighting a moment ago. Judging from its design, I would guess they're Jaegers. Jaegers? Hang on, you mean those elite crazy mercenaries I heard about in Grand Soul? But, but, but why would they be here? Outside of Liberal, the guild and the Jaegers are dire enemies. It is not out of the question that they would dare to attack us here. Though, it would be oddly brazen, even for them. Given that, though, this could very well be at the behest of the society. What? You mean. Uh oh. They're in! Yeah! Son of a... Alright. It is very important that we win this fight. Mr. Jaeger, a mysterious combatant that suddenly attacked. Blinds with smoke, then charges in. Since we got the information quartz, we're not gonna get all the dirty deets on these guys. Alright. Uh, what are we gonna start out doing here? We need to beat him up, but I don't have CP here. Dark matter. I wanna try dark matter. All right, let's see. Charge. <gasps> Instantly fainted my girl? Oh, you're in trouble. You're in trouble, sir. Uh, I need to get her up. What do we have that can heal faint? Nothing. Absolutely useless. Oh, no. All right. Come on. Wake up. Wake up, Estelle. She's not waking up. All right. Friggin' firebolt him. All right. I need to turn on my volume, because that is a lot. No! Alright, I mean, I guess it's okay to just re-faint the fainted one, but... Do... Alright, firebolt! What? Wait a minute! Oh, I didn't faint. That's good. Oh, okay, I sell this up. Maybe we can fight now. Oh, we're doing no damage! Ah! Alright, this guy's tough. But we've gotten CP from this. That's the positive part. We are definitely going to... Do we go in? Let's see. Well, let's see what physical is like on him. There we go. Come on. Let's do this thing. Bait up this fool. All right. All right. That's good. That's good. Chaincraft's pretty good. Smoke grenade. Right. You somehow miss with the smoke grenade? Dude. Pathetic. Jaeger's saying nothing. Dark matter. New spell. Here we go. Ooh. Oh. Oh, that's dope! And that did a lot of damage. Come on. <laughs> he can't even hit with a smoke grenade. Dude, he had such momentum. And he squat. You're, you're, you're squandering it, dude. Oh, he's choking under pressure. Okay, just don't charge me again. 
Okay, he's moving back to charge me. I don't like that. Can I get a Dark Matter out, though? Good, that's gonna hurt him a lot. Just like this. And I should probably heal up a cell at this point. Alright, Onalace. I'm gonna put a healing orb on her, too. Orb? Quartz. Orb sounds cool, too, though. Okay, here we go. Charge. Stop hitting a cell. What has she done to deserve this? Alright. Just like that. He's getting low. Can I get a Dark Matter out in time? I don't have... I don't have the EP for it. It's very expensive. I'm just gonna tear to make sure that Estelle doesn't go down here. I'd like the full experience from this. Okay. And... Single Slash. You're a goner, my dude. Cause here we go. Girl power! Let's go! Okay! Okay! Ba 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 bam Very good. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, indeed. We managed to win... somehow. Okay, whoever you are, drop the weapon and surrender. <laughs> Your brats are better than I thought. Still not good enough, though. What? Oh, of course. Yeah? A smoke bomb? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> 99 little kittens. Son of a Jaeger. Mm. Uh, morn already? Feels too. Uh, wh what? What the heck? We're in the goddess's name. I remember... an attack... and then... Annalise! Wake up, Annalise! Oh no... <laughs> a stuffed bunny and... a stuffed teddy bear... Ooh, which one to pick? Can I take them all, Grandpa? What the heck kind of dream? Annalise, come on! Wake up! This is not the time! Oh. Oh. Morning, Estelle. Alright. Time for more practice. No, it's not time for morning practice. Just wake up already! Get it together! Oh? She's putting it together. Wait. Um, Estelle? What's going on? This isn't my bedroom. That attack thing was just a bad nightmare, right? Boy, don't I wish. If you both remember it, though, I kind of doubt it was a dream. Oh, yeah. That's a good point. Howie, Man, looks like we lost a match. No points for me. Annalise. Why do I get to sense you're still half asleep? Here we are! Saint Crow Forests! Somehow? Uh, anyway, let's go over what we know. Get our bearings and stuff. So last night, a group of men who looked just a bit like Jaegers attacked the lodge. I remember Kurt was wounded, and right after we arrived, an enemy jumped in through the window. And right after that, it was lights out for me. Yeah, that matches what I remember. The question is, how the heck do we wind up here? Good question. That is kind of weird. It looks like they left most of our stuff on us, but... Yeah, all my new combat gear is missing. Man. Oh yeah, mine too. So that means we were probably brought here by... Who brought a cell and lace into the... Forest. Was it Kurt, the attacking Jaegers, or some third party? Let's go with the attacking Jaegers. Yeah, that's the obvious answer. One thing's bugging me, though. It's just, why didn't they tie us up or, I don't know, stab us or something? They just left us out in the open. Well, let's see. After knocking us out and disarming us, something happened and they had to quickly retreat somewhere else, leaving us behind. Yeah, that's pretty believable. 
In that case, sticking around here is like asking to get our heads cut off. Estelle, do you still have that map? Oh yeah, we still have some of our stuff, so... Yep, here it is. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. There's St. Croix Forest, where we were training last night. I'm guessing that's where we are now. So in that case... Our first goal should be getting out of the forest and checking on the lodge, right? Yeah, I want to see if we can find Kurt to make sure he's okay. Like you said, we gotta get out of this stupid forest. Alright then, let's get out of here. We're basically sitting ducks without our gear, remember? So we need to be careful. Remember? remember? <laughs> Got it. It'd be nice if we could reclaim our gear somehow. No gear? Uh, this prologue, man. Practice weapon? What is... Where's my stuff? I demand... I think I glove... I got my glove gear, so I don't know, honestly. We're good. Hey, I got my quartz. Dude, we're balling. Forget about it. What's this? A Jaeger tent? No, I think it's just a regular tent to sell. That'd be my guess. Let's take a peek inside. We might find something useful. Found Tira Bomb. EP charge. Well, looks like that's everything. Darn it. I was hoping we'd find our gear in there. Man, I wish it was that easy. Still, the tent's in good shape. We could probably nap here if we need to take a quick rest. We don't have time to just lounge around, but... If we really need a rest, we should keep it in mind. <laughs> Good idea. Alright, we got a rest spot, we got some items, and uh, yeah, it's survival time. Let's go out into the forest. Uh, dangerous plant right there, don't want to mess with that. We are on the lookout for chests as per usual, and there are eight of them in the forest, but in typical forest fashion, I don't have a map. So, oh, but we're... Looking good. Enhanced leather. That's... Hey. That's, that's familiar. Hey. Do you think this could be our equipment? It sure looks like it. The rest of our stuff might be hidden around like this. <laughs> cool. I kind of like to avoid fighting the monsters, but we do need to find our stuff. Man, these Jaegers are weird. Look, I don't know. Look, I know I don't have anything, but we can still hang out, right? Wait, come back. Nope. I'm leaving. You're useless to me. We got the leathers. Let's get them on to Estelle, because that's a significant boost in defense. Extra chest protection. Found in the chest. Fitting. Oh, that's a, that's a spinning ball of death right there. Let's not engage that unless we have to. My general policy with monsters is we will face them if we feel like it. That's, that's it. That's the policy. Now, if we never face monsters wildly, we are gonna fall behind power level-wise, but... I mean, we're fine. We're all good. I'm just gonna... Ooh, what's over here? Oh. There we go. What's this? Reinforced boots. Psychically sensing that there's nothing inside, you walk away from the chest without disturbing it. Ooh. I didn't know I had those powers. That's pretty neat. Let's get some boots back on ya. There we go. We are slowly re-equipping ourselves. Don't mind at all. These Jaegers ain't gonna stop us. This seems like it would go further. So I prefer to stay and just have a little look here. What is across the river over here? Let's see. Oh! It's just a whole big load of nothing. Cool! My favorites. Okay. But now we know that there's something on the other side of the water there. So... Just because I don't know when we might get ambushed again, we're gonna try to avoid combat so that we can keep our resources high. Because, for instance, if we weren't prepared for that Jaeger fight, which we were because we'd rested, then that would have been potentially missing out on some BP if we failed that. But now we should be on the side where... Hold on. What's up with... Come on, aren't these barrels very suspicious? Also, why? what are you doing down in the water? Alright. Let's go along here. Let's go down into the water. Alright, we got kitty cats playing around. 
anything of use here, though. We could go up there. We could go along here. There we go. Nature's bounty. The chest is empty now. So empty, so lonely. Please, don't go. Well, too late. I got the goods. So does that... So they took my recipe that I yet to eat. No, I still haven't had the herb sandwich. Alright, that's alright though. I mean, I can totally eat this now. I'm just gonna eat the herb sandwich for the recipe. We have better healing items. There we go. I just got surprise attacked by three kitty cats who are gonna crit me. Uh, alright, I'll just see it as a CP gain. That's that's my head cannon. Let's just toss out a tear on her. Stab a kitten. There we go. She's healed up. And he's taking a cat nap. Alright. Not a very effective cat nap. Alright. Alright. I'm gonna take these kitty cats out. Uh, dark matter is still single. I don't have anything that's AoE yet, but honestly, that makes sense. Still fairly fresh here. Could I, if I do chain, do you and then here? Speed up these kitty cats. Bam, 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 bam. Nice. Boom, boom. All right. He's taking a cat nap. He thinks he can survive this. But I'm gonna tear up you. And then we're going in. Almost. Ugh. I want her to be perfectly healed, but I just can't... I can't have anything and everything I want in this world. Perfect. Please don't attack me again, kitty cat. Okay. With that, new section. Who this? Saint Croix this way. Ranger and survival skills training grounds. Hey, this sign. <laughs> Looks like a guidepost to me. We passed by this way yesterday. So I'm sure this is the way out. Awesome. Now we can get out of the forest. Thank you! I love when the game points you where to go, because then you can go the opposite way. EP charge! Very cool. Sorry, kid. I'm retired. It's my last day on the job, and you came along. Does a treasure chest fail or succeed when you take its contents? Like, what's its role? Its role is to... Is it to guard something, or give you something? Why'd you have to come back? You could have just walked away with the goods, but now the treasure chest has you right where it wants you. Um, that was a weird voice for that, but okay. We are missing a couple of things, including our proper weapons. So, it'd be nice to find those. But this is where we were on the other side. Okay. So, now we'd probably want to go back to the passage that we saw. Don't... Stupid kitty cat. I mean, I'm the stupid one letting them attack me like this. Also, Annalise just got annihilated by them, whereas Estelle was fine because, you know, she wore the plus 100 defense enhanced leather. So, if we go back over here, then I believe, you know, oh, there we go. Reinforced boots. You tell the chest to say, ah, and it obliges. Everything seems to be in order here. Excellent. Good. That leaves us with two items. Our weapons. Kind of the most important ones. What you got here? Fencer. You ever wonder the items in these chests were meant for someone specific? You have the nerve to take them anyway. How rude. That only leaves Estelle's weapon. Let's get some boots on you, some leather on you, and that fencer right there. All right. We're gearing back up. It's a strange, uh, kind of a strange series of events, this, but that's okay. They're just very particular, these Jaegers. Okay, so this, are we going back now? There's no way I'm going to be able to find this first try. Oh, boy. Okay, we were in the right area, so I think the correct thing to do is continue looking around this area here, because it should be very close. It should be... No, but not here, but here, 
like underneath a tree or something. So there's that. I'll find. Don't worry. I'm, I'm sniffing it out. I'm on the trail. I'm getting closer. Aha! It was literally right from the other chest. It was a. Uh, that didn't take me 10 minutes. It's good. Break rod. This chest looks sad and deflated. Kinda like me right now, now that you've taken all the stuff. But good! That's the Saint Croy Forest. And we got the break rod. We got full power level back. I also stopped by the tent for a little cat nap. And now with that all out of the way, I think we can go kick some butt. So if we follow this path, we get to the barrels, the suspicious barrels. And we go back through the water. And then we should get to the sign, and we can leave the forest! Excellent. Annalise, I think that's the exit! Whew, finally! I thought we'd never get out! Oh, dearie me! I take my eyes off you for one second, and you run away. Such naughty, naughty children. Gah! Ugh. <laughs> Welcome to my hunting grounds, kittens. A, a woman? Estelle, watch out! Whoever she is, she's good. Ooh, sharp enough to pick up on that, are we? Not only that, but you're already back on your feet after getting a face full of gas. That's slightly impressive. That's a bracer for you, I suppose. Pointlessly tough, if nothing else. Hey, whoever you are, what's going on here? Why are you attacking the training grounds? What did we ever do to you? Oh, kitten. You're assuming I need to answer questions. Now, you have two choices. Surrender quietly, or we have a little hunting party. God damn it. Can we hope to fight her off as we are? We certainly can. Let's fight her. Annalise! Right behind you. Oh, yes, kittens. That's right. Come closer now. Let's put an end to a little hunt. Alright. I'm glad the game gives you the chance to go and get the stuff you need beforehand. That's a grenade. You're going down. We're gonna start with a good old freaking dark matter. Reacts sharply to arts, it says on the description. That's interesting. Let's see what sharply to arts means. Quapa! Maybe she can impede. Well, boosh. That's good. That's a good, strong, chunky hit. Boosh. That's pretty okay, too. Alright. She's gonna stay at a distance. I'm gonna stay at a distance. Dude, arts are powerful. Um, We could seep her down as well, though. We're almost at an S break. Oh, Shock Spider. How about you, this? Yeah. She's an impeder. Cheater, cheater, impeder. As they say. Could, uh, could we get to her? She's very far away. Okay. Just want to know what my options are. But I'm just going to keep tossing out arts, honestly. And if she's just going to spend her turns trying to impede on a lace, that's fine. But that was my second dark matter. It doesn't deal that much damage, so it's okay. Alright. Now. Your S-Craft, though... We'll need to hit... We need to be in range of her. So I'm going to move up a little closer. Alright, come on. Test me. Come on. Annalise is looking a little hurt right now. Can't even morale her. Alright, so what we're going to do... We're going to tear bomb her up. Don't want to use the real expensive stuff just yet. But just basic tear bomb right there to get them a little clump together. Can I now reach? I'm wondering... We still can't reach. Alright. I'm going in. I'm going over. Alright. It's my turn. I think I'm gonna pop on a lace. 
Oh, is there anything else I'd like to do? Let's just do it. Come on. Piercing wave. Whoopa! Whoopa! All right, all right, all right, all right. With that, what else can we do? Do we just do some long range? Let's do some arts. Let's force her to cancel us here. Let's do soul blur. See if I can make her faint. Pa pow. That's okay. All according to plan. What if I do it again, though? Did you think about that? Female Jaeger. Boom, boom, boom. All right. She's going down. Boom. All right, one more shot like that might take down Estelle, so let's, let's finish her. But she's she's good at staying at a distance, man. Can I get an arts off in time? Not really. That's okay. I'm going to focus arts here. And then I'm going to focus tear right here. Toss that. Shock spider on her. Makes sense. Uh, yeah, let's just shoot her down. Let's just shoot her down at a distance. She can't stop us all. By us all, I mean us too. Because of the action economy. At play. Uh, well, except for the fact that I don't have any more range. But, alright, we need to move in on her. Pow pow. That's okay. As long as she's have to resort to using Shock Spider. Let's go a little closer. Then I am going to move a little closer. What now? Oh. Damn. That's a grenade. I can't, I can't, I can't reach you. You are infuriating me. Uh, let's, let's pop a tear bomb. Just stay alive, okay? That'd be nice. You gonna grenade again? That's fine. Stell's a strong girl. She can take your shenanigans. Right, we're gonna go in here. Then we're gonna go in. Okay, we should be in range for the chain attack to finish her off next turn. Scatter shots. <gasps> I'm almost at the... Oh. Duragoner, lady. And then, just because I can... This ends here. This ends here. <laughs> Otherwise, you could have killed Estelle this turn. There we go. Bam. Legends. Pizza cake, everybody. Mm -mm. Uh, seems I underestimated you a little. That'll teach you to look down on bracers. Your first mistake was assuming we're just a pair of clueless little girls. My, so spirited and fiery now. We'll have to do something about that. This again? Estelle, hold your breath. Oh, kittens, you realize we've captured a tactician already, yes? You're all alone here now. Just give up and surrender. It'll be easier. She got away. We probably shouldn't chase her, right, Annalise? Yeah, bad idea. Way too obvious a trap. Hey, Estelle? She said, we've captured the tactician, didn't she? Oh, yeah, she was probably talking about Kurtz. Yeah, she had to be. Please, no. Hey, don't worry. Even if he was caught, this is Kurt we're talking about. He'll be fine. Besides, this is the sort of thing we've been training for. You really think so? Hmm. Huh. Emergency decision-making, survival techniques, counter-terrorism skills. Yeah, you're right. We'll put what we learned to use and save Kurt. <laughs> That's the Annalise I know. Hey, how about we return to the lodge real quick? We should check to see if the enemies occupied it, for starters. Yeah, good point. Off we go, then. Yeah, good fight. Oh, you okay, Estelle? That's fine. Take me to the map. Take me to the lodge. Papa. I could use a little breather. The mood's a little different. 
Well, from the outside, it looks like nobody's here. Yeah, should be safe to nose around inside. There might be traps or something, though. Just be careful. Got it. We do want to go back to the lodge, because this is where we can find a very important collectible. Let's go. Watch out for claymores. Check the corners. Oh, that spear looks a lot like, um, Kurt's. Uh, uh, well, let's have a look around. Yeah, there might be, uh, clues or something. Right. All right. A broken spear is lying on the ground. It appears to belong to Kurt. I don't know. The floor is stained with blood. Is this... Kurtz? I... I, uh... I think so. I mean, there isn't a lot, so his injuries probably aren't... F fatal Yeah. Man, no more happy, bright, fun times. The orbital telephone has been smashed to pieces. <gasps> Dang it. No surprise from pro mercenaries, I guess. No way they wouldn't cut all the obvious means of communication. Yeah, they don't want us calling for any reinforcements. Damn, it's gonna make this even harder. What else we got? The window's broken and shards of glass lie on the floor. This is the window that Jaeger left through last night, right? Yeah, he was really skilled. You could tell from the way he handled himself. I don't know. I mean, yeah, maybe the repeated fainting was pretty good. The barrels of foodstuffs are empty. The enemy took our food, too? Yeah, they're the only ones who would have, I think. And I don't see Phyllis anywhere. No blood, thank Adios. I wonder what happens. I guess they were taken, too. What else we got? There are bits of paper left behind, indicating something was torn away from the boards. Hey, wasn't there a map pinned up here? Yeah, just like the one we have. If they have that, then that means... Okay, so we've given a lodge a once-over. Looks like the second floor is completely untouched. They only roughed up the first floor. Yeah, I get the feeling there might be a reason for that. And now that we know that, I think I have an idea about what the enemy is doing. You do? Some of it still doesn't quite make sense, but a few of the pieces are coming together, I think. Think about it. We've seen what's in the lodge. And there was that tent in the forest. If we put together the clues we found in those two places... Ah, I think I get it. What did the foe do? Did they retreat from the local, seal the canyon entrance, or move to a new base? This is the correct choice. Exactamundo! Glad we're on the same page, Estelle. The tent was probably staging point for attacking the lodge. Which means it was abandoned, because they've moved somewhere else. Oh, I get it. But they're obviously not using the lodge as a base either. Hmm. Well, they probably realize that it's hard to defend the lodge. If the guilds end up sending reinforcements, they're gonna need a defensible position where they can keep the hostages. So they must have taken a position somewhere in the local that they can think they can defend easily. <laughs> yeah, okay. Makes a lot of sense. So the only place like that around here would be... Hmm... Is this Robert? You too! Oh! Robert! Hey, you're safe! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Last night, Kurt gave me a chance to get away. I've been hiding ever since then. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're still really glad you're safe. Forgive me, I... I ran away and abandoned everyone. I'm a pathetic excuse for a man I know. Hey, don't be so hard on yourself. These are Jaegers after all. <laughs> yeah, she's right. If anything, we're lucky they have one less hostage. I see. Well, thank you, girls. So, do you two have any idea where Kurt and Phyllis are? You mentioned hostages. Well... Estelle and Annalise relayed their theory that the enemy had taken the two as hostages and moved to a new base. I get it. A base that'd be easy to defend. 
Grimsel Fortress, then. Has to be. Grimsel what? Th there's a fortress in the canyon? Well, we call it a fortress, but it isn't really one. It's a new training ground we built recently, based on modern military facilities. Uh, the idea is to train bracers in counter-terror operations in hijacked military bases. That sort of thing. I never realized there was a place like that in the canyon. It is on the map, though. Annalise. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, hey, hey. You two aren't thinking of taking the fight to the mall by yourselves, are you? You need to at least call the guild for backup, or... I smashed a phone to bits, Robert. Hey, smash my phone? Oh, those? Um, Robert, calm down, please. Can you try and fix the phone? If you can get it working, contact the guild as soon as you can. Let them know what's happened. Okay. If you need me to tune your orbments, just stop by the workshop. Good luck, girls. I'll be praying for you. Okay. Okay. Let's go, Estelle. Time to make a two-girl assault on Grimsel Fortress. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh boy, why do you sound the same? I completely forgot to give you some quartz, and for that I apologize, my girl. So, what other quartz could we give you? You could get the Defend Quartz, you could get an HP Quartz, and you can even get an EP Cut Quartz. Would I want an EP Cut Quartz here? Possibly. We do have Flare Arrow, actually. That's really nice. But I could swap that for EP. That doesn't give me anything new and exciting. But it would make... It's barely... It's 10% reduction is not that much. Let's go upstairs. It's important that we go upstairs because this room has always been locked. But now it's open and we have Volume 1 of Gambler Jack. Gambler Jack is this game's collectible book series, much like Carnelia and the previous one. So the idea is that I need to collect all of them. There's also another little detail about this achievement that we'll get to once we get to the proper chapter one. This is a mainstream fiction novel published in Liberal. So I'm just going to open it so that it's read, and then I'm just going to back out. And I'm going to read it out for you in its full completion once this game is done. As a separate video on this channel. You can also look it up online if you want to read the whole thing right now, rather than me flicking through it in-game. It's not very approachable. I think that's the only real thing of interest in here. All right. Oh, can we rest? Oh, dude! Sweet! I didn't know that. I'll take a little rest, because that was rough in the forest, but... We got through. Robert's here now, so that's great. Could we upgrade a slot on Analyze? No, we're a little... A little out of those types of quartz. That's alright, that's alright, that's alright. Another hit quartz could be fun. Um, for now, it's all good. But, troubles are brewing. We know where the baddies are. They've taken Kurt, they've taken Phyllis, and they moved to Grimsel Fortress. The last real place for us to explore here. But, with us just about to hit like 50 minutes after editing, I think this is a wonderful place for us to leave off so that we can properly take on Grimsel Fortress and the conclusion of the prologue in the next episode. So let's just position ourselves at a nice scenic spot and conclude. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Carl, and this has been Trails to Completion.